Today's students will be doing the final part, that is part 4 of lesson 5 from the general science textbook for standard 6. Substances in the surroundings, their states and properties. For a complete lesson, do watch part 1, 2, 3 and 4. You'll get the link in the description box below. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Can you tell? Identify the objects shown in figure 5.14. Okay, here, here are the objects. So, identify. Look at it and identify. I am sure you will be e easily be able to identify. From which substances are they made? What are the substances called as a group? Okay, so we know that this is gold, isn't it? And these this looks like an iron bar. So, these are metals, isn't it? Substances like copper, gold, iron, aluminium are called metals. Now, metals are found in the form of minerals deep inside the earth. Okay, so down, deep down inside the earth's crust, we find this minerals and minerals from the earth's crust are processed. That is, they are mined. Hmm, they are removed out. Okay, and then they are processed. They are cleaned. There is a lot of process that goes on. And to obtain the metal. So, all the metals, they are found at a particular place at a large scale. So, that is the place where they will start mining it. Okay, they will start removing it out. Then the whole process starts. Now, in daily life, metals have various important uses. Isn't it? We are surrounded with so many different types of metals. Now, let us study some of the common properties of metals. Okay, now based on these properties, we make uses of it. Isn't it? So, Let's study the properties of it. Properties of metals. Let's try this. Now, take a piece of copper or aluminium wire or a small nail. Okay, nail is made of iron, isn't it? Hammer it repeated, repeatedly. Okay, take a piece of nail or, you know, piece of copper or aluminium wire and start hammering it. Now, what do you observe? What happened? This was a nail. You started hammering it. And then it flattened out, isn't it? So, on hammering repeatedly, the wire becomes flat or the nail became flat. That is, it forms a thin sheet. Metals can be converted into sheets by hammering. So, that is how the sheets of many of the things are made. Okay, all the metals are made. So, this property of metals is called malleability. So, the property of metals turning into sheets is called malleability. So, this is the first property we learned. Observe and discuss. Now, hot iron is hammered and made into thin sheets. Now, we already saw how when we hammered the nail, it became into thin sheet. So, also hot iron. So, when they make the iron hot, so that it becomes very easier to make it into sheets. Because it, as it heats, it becomes softer. So, hot iron is hammered and made into thin sheets. Now, if possible, visit a blacksmith's shop. Blacksmith is a person who, uh, you know, works with iron. So, blacksmith. He is called a blacksmith. Gold is called a goldsmith. So, visit a blacksmith's shop to observe how this hammering causes it to stretch. Now, iron bars made to revolve continuously while being hammered become longer. The iron can be drawn into wires. So, this is how you can make it into thick or thin wires. So, that is how the wires of various metals are made. So, metals can be stretched and drawn into wires. What is drawn? Made into wires. Now, this property of metals is called the ductibility. So, when you can make it into wires, it is called ducti uh, ductility. Now, metals like silver, gold, copper, platinum can be drawn into fine wires. Okay, so all metals, all metals you can make uh, into uh, thin wires. Okay, drawn into wires. Now, can you tell why are the electric boards fitted on a wall made of plastic or wood? Okay, most of it nowadays it is made of plastic, but earlier they used to be made of wood. Okay, so why are the, you know, you must be having your electric board where all the switches are. 
in all the rooms in your house so why are they made of plastic or wood now the handle of a cooker is made of plastic why we know no most of the um, uh, the vessels at home okay they have handle made of plastic the pan the cooker so why is it made of plastic why not why did they put that plastic they could have kept it with the metal only no now electricity flows through metals all metals are conductors of electricity that is they pass the electricity through them so that is called conductors of electricity to a greater or lesser extent so some metals will pass electricity to a greater extent and some under lesser extent so this property is called electric conductivity and even when a piece of metal is heated at one place the whole of it becomes hot so just take a spoon or something and try to heat it after some time even the handle of the spoon will become hot isn't it so it shows that metals allow heat to flow through them so they allow heat to flow and this property is called the thermal conductivity so this property of allowing the heat to flow through it is called thermal conductivity and metals have a typical shine or luster okay this is the next property they have a little shine isn't it we have seen that is called luster the shine is called luster and every metal has a characteristic color so we know gold color is different silver color is different iron color is different isn't it so they have a distinct they have a separate color so characteristic uh, color by which it can be identified so we can easily identify it okay by you know by looking at the color of it now try this pluck the strings of a musical instrument like the tanpura or veena this is the instrument the picture given to you alongside it is made of strings so plucking means lightly pulling it just don't rip it apart pulling the strings or ring a bell or hit a steel box with a metal spoon you must have done all these things isn't it we have all rung a bell we have all hit the you know metal box with a metal spoon so we know the sound of it we get a sound isn't it strike a wooden table or a marble floor with a wooden stick note the difference in the sounds produced in the two cases so when you pluck the strings of a tanpura or veena when you ring a bell when you hit a spoon a uh, steel box with a metal spoon or strike a wooden table or a marble floor with a wooden stick so what are the difference in sounds are the all the sound same no so metals produce a ringing sound isn't it it vibrates this property is called the sonority of metals okay so this is the vibrating sound that we hear the ringing sound it is called the sonority of metals so these were the properties of metals that we just learned and based on the properties of each metal they are put to use that is gold we can make ornaments out of it okay here we have made something made of iron this is copper this is also the axe is made of iron so depending on how hard it is how soft it is what use we can make it the conductivity the sonority so all these things the ductibility all this is the properties of um, the metals and accordingly the uses are generated from it now always remember this students during the rainy season or at any other time do not touch the exposed electric wires or metal parts okay exposed means the wires that are open so don't try to do any mischief by touching them you could lose your life because there there will be electric current passing through it or the metal parts because we know metals are good conductors of electricity so the wires Uh, the electric city could pass through these metal parts also so don't try to do any mischief by touching them so remember this okay and don't forget and keep all electric lamps or other appliances appliances means all other things that use electricity switched off when not in use don't unnecessarily keep it on you know sometimes our mixers are on iron is on so and mobiles are on kept on charging continuously so don't keep it you know switch it off when we are not using it 
for example even when the tv is switched off by remote control do not forget to put it off from the main switch so before going to sleep see that all the switches are put off it helps to save electricity besides protecting us from any possible danger so there is little electric current that passes through if you keep the appliances on okay it's a waste isn't it it's a waste of electricity so that will help us to save electricity and save money but it could cause danger sometimes there are drips in electricity or electric current you know passes a lot during it happens when uh, uh, so for some reason okay so so there could be a danger of a spark or something so therefore we should switch off from the mains okay well the switch itself when we are not using it and ask your seniors at home to check the electric wiring and fittings in the house periodically so time to time periodically means within a specific period of time maybe three months six months or maybe in a year to check all the electric appliances uh, and the electric wiring and fittings of the house periodically now let's reflect on what we have learned we learned that solid liquid and gases are the three states of substances the temperature of a substance how hot or cold it is can be measured with the help of a thermometer heat is the cause of the change of state of substances that is it is because of heat whether heat is gained by a substance or heat is lost by a substance the state of matter is determined by it then substances have various properties like hardness elasticity brittleness fluidity density solubility and transparency now metals can form a separate group of substances so we learnt about many of the properties of metals and metals have some common properties like malleability ductility thermal conductivity electrical conductivity sonority luster and a characteristic color so these were the properties of metal science watch here is a little activity for you to do it science is developing continuously isn't it science changes every day how much do we know of it so there is something which changes we should be well aware of what is going on and research work goes on at the state national and global level so there are lots of scientists working on various fields to do a lot of research and finding out things and if we wish to keep ourselves informed about it we must be aware of the various happenings around us so make newspapers your friends read newspapers daily so read the newspaper because there is so much news that comes in read and collect articles on science discuss and share them with others okay so you could take the help of the newspaper nowadays you have the access to the internet so easily so there is a lot of information on the internet so do read it collect it make notes of it you could make a scrapbook out of it okay for any particular topic that you are interested in so you could get deeper knowledge into it so do try this activity children also please solve the exercise given to you at the end of the chapter to check your answers to all the textual questions and for the summary meanings other question answers and for free worksheets visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe